Who's the best coach in the NBA right now, in your opinion? Okay, so I'm going to say Brad Stevens only because I don't want to get on the Nick Nurse bandwagon, although he deserves all the, the props and everything that comes along with that. He's a phenomenal coach. I'm going to say Brad Stevens just because, you know, he's been – He's been with, what, Boston for a couple years now. He made the ECF without Kyrie Irving one year. Uh, last year, he didn't do too well in the playoffs solely. Not solely, but a lot of it had to do with Kyrie Irving this year. You know, the emergence of Jason Tatum in the offense. You got Kemba Walker. They were actually playing really well. A lot of people actually, I know some people that actually had Boston going to the finals. I think River had them going to the finals, right? He said they were the best why. team. So, I mean, you know, he's been consistent. Uh, Brad Stevens, to me, Brad Stevens is... To me, Brad Stevens is the best coach in the league. This is why I disagree with you. Okay. Brad Stevens has been a great coach. Yeah. And if I was making a top three list, he'd be probably the third to second coach. Yeah. But if we're we're being honest, yeah. Brad Stevens is the coach that he's going to take talent that's underwhelming and make them look better than they are. Mm-hmm. That's what he's been known for that's bread so and butter. far. When he got a super talented team in mm-hmm. the Celtics, when Kyrie went the second year, when they were expected to go to the finals, mm-hmm. they round. didn't meet expectations. And this year, yeah, they're doing great, but we're not mm-hmm. sure what's going to happen. My pick is easy. I think Nick Nurse is the best coach in the NBA. Obviously, I can see why. obviously, we can get into like Greg Popovich and stuff, of but course. Greg Popovich is he's retiring soon. We all know he's one of the. His time probably, is over. You know if, what I mean? Yeah, if we're exactly. Being Nick Nurse won a championship in his first year coaching as a head coach. He already got over the hurdle that is um, that is uh, plaguing Brad Stevens' career so far. What can you do with talent? Mm-hmm. We've seen what Nick Nurse can do with talent. Yeah. We've seen what he can do with talent. And now, this year, they lost Kawhi. Everybody ruled them out. And they're second in the Eastern Conference. Players stepped up. That you didn't even think we're going to step Norman up. Powell. Norman Powell. Norman Powell's <laughs> averaging 16 a game. Pascal Siakam. Terrence Davis. He's a really good rookie. Terrence Davis is pretty good. Chris Boucher. Boucher is nice. He's a really good player. So, Matt Thomas. <laughs> he's a shooter. <laughs> so <laughs> we know that Nick Nurse can elevate underwhelming talent. He can develop players. Mm-hmm. And he can win if he has talent. Yeah. So right now I'm going with Nick Nurse. I, I think Nick Nurse is a great coach. Uh, Nick the Nurse was the NBA. Nick Nurse was the assistant coach under Dwayne Casey too one year, right? When they were number one. When right? they were number one, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, look, I mean, look, everything points towards Nick Nurse. I mean, I don't think Brad Stevens has had a superstar to the level of Kawhi Leonard on his team. You know, I think Kawhi yeah. Leonard is a phenomenal player. I think like I, I just think I'm not saying they solely won because of Kawhi Leonard. I mean, Nick Nurse coached these young guys up. He's pl- they're actually playing really well this year. I give him credit. Pascal Siakam looks good. Norman Powell, I think this year is averaging a career high 15.7 points per game. Nick Nurse is a great coach. I would lean more towards Brad Stevens just because I've seen what he can do without his best player in Kyrie Irving with a bunch of rookies. Now, I know there's a little – no, there's not a little. There's a huge, like, cloud over Kyrie Irving's head following him, saying that whatever team he goes to, he's a team killer. And I could say that Kyrie Irving being on Boston kind of messed their team up more ways than it helped them. You know what I mean? One year that they were the number one seed, he only played, what, 68 games. They went to the ECF without him. Next year, he's in. They beat Indiana close series 4-0. Then they go to play Milwaukee. They lay an egg. Kyrie Irving has a terrible series. Jason Tatum has a terrible series. This year, when you remove Kyrie Irving off the team, you add Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, 20 points per game. Jason Tatum stepped up. Uh, Kemba Walker's playing really well. So, I mean... I think this year Boston had a shot at maybe going to the championship ECF and I think just I mean I've had more I've seen more from Brad Stevens just because he's coached longer than Nick Nurse I know Nick Nurse has a championship but I feel like Brad Stevens has been a really consistent coach for his tenure with Boston I know it's a popular thing to say that Kyrie's this cancer and I'm not saying he's not. Me neither. But I'm just I'm saying, saying that's what follows him. That's the well, cloud that follows Nets him. you're a Nets fan. Of course you're going to say that's he's not. That's a cloud you're that follows him. You're hoping he's not. I you're hoping not. he's not. not. But look, in Boston, his first year there, they were number one They were number one seed. With Kyrie, yeah. The second year, Four. I don't think it was all Kyrie's fault. Me neither. The whole team was on one-year contracts. Terry Rozier, mm-hmm. Marcus Smart needed to get re-signed, Marcus Morris, mm-hmm. Kyrie. I mean, the whole team... There were questions around the whole team, and everybody wanted to average 20 so they could get the most amount of money in free agency. Brad Stevens was the coach when Isaiah Thomas was there too, right? Yeah, when he scored wow. 20. Brad Stevens a has a really good track record. I mean, he hasn't been able to get to the dance, but Brad Stevens has really been consistently really good for a while now. And nah, this year has. was looking really good too. 
Oh yeah, not only that, but Gordon Hayward was coming off his injury. He needed yeah. to get back into the mix of things. So there's a lot of things that went wrong with Boston. It's it's popular to say that it was just Kyrie, mm-hmm. but in reality, it was everybody. And at the end of the day, who's the person that's supposed to make everybody gel together? Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens. Yeah. So that is a base. That's a that's a black dot on his resume mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. 